Hello, dear students. This is Dr. Fadi Hannawi, lecturer of internal medicine and hematology, faculty of medicine, Ain Shams University. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to examine the cervical and axillary groups of lymph nodes. And in this section, I'm going to show you how to examine the axillary lymph nodes. First, you have to greet the patient, introduce yourself, and explain to the patient the examination you're going to perform. Sabah khair. Sabah al-Nur. Zayak, I'm Dr. Fadi. Sayyid Muhammad. Ahlan ya Sayyid. Tismah li afhas taht al-bad, nishuf izah kan fi ghudad lymphawaya mutadakhima. Naha, fish mishkir. Taib, shukran. Taib, ana hafhas taht al-bad, lau hasid baay waga, ul li. Taib, mokad tihis aadam irtiyah shwaya bisbaay, bis lau fi waga, ul li wana hawa. Taib, taib, shukran. Aizak, tisnit eedak ala eedi kada, و تريح دراعك لتحت أيوة. so starting to examine the axillary lymph nodes. first we have five major groups. first group is the medial group and you can uh, feel it by rolling your tips of fingers against the chest wall, which is the medial group of axillary lymph nodes. and you start rolling your fingers like this. but it's always better to support the top of the axilla, which is the shoulder, with your other hand, like this. And start trolling, feeling against the chest wall if there is any enlarged lymph nodes. And the second group is the anterior group of axillary lymph nodes. And you can feel it against the anterior axillary fold, which is the pectoralis muscle, like this. It's always better to support the opposing side, which is the anterior uh, chest wall, like this and rolling your fingertips against the anterior axillary fold like this. The third group you can feel with your left hand is the lateral group of axillary lymph nodes and you can feel it against the arm itself like this. And by rolling your fingertips you can feel if there is any enlarged lymph nodes. Well, the fourth group is the apical group and here you can slightly press upwards into the apex of the axilla don't forget always to support the shoulder and start to feel with your fingertips any enlarged lymph nodes in the axillary apex. And the last group is the posterior axillary lymph nodes and you can feel them against the posterior axillary fold like this by rolling your fingertips against the posterior axillary fold and it's always better don't forget to support the shoulder with your other hand. Don't forget also dear students to examine the opposite side. Thank you. So in this section, I'm going to show you how to examine the circular group of cervical lymph nodes. So first, you have to greet the patient warmly, introduce yourself, and explain the procedure or the examination you're going to perform on the patient. Sabah khair. Sabah al-Nur. Zayak. Alhamdulillah. Ana ismi Dr. Fadi. Hello, sir. Ismak ee? Sayyid Muhammad. Ahlan ya Sayyid. تسمح لي عايز أفحص رقبتك وندور على غدد لينفوية لو ما عندكش مشكلة؟ لا فيش مشكلة طيب شكرا طيب بص يا سيد أنا هحاول أبتدي أحس كده في رقبتك شوية لو حسيت أي وجع قولي تمام طيب So first step is to examine the submental lymph nodes followed by the submandibular lymph nodes followed by the tonsillar lymph nodes followed by the preauricular, then postauricular, then occipital. This is in order the lymph nodes we're going to examine right now. So starting with the submental lymph nodes, it's always better for the submental especially to examine while supporting the head with the other hand and slightly flexing the head downwards a little bit. So you start feeling by rolling your tips of fingers against the jaw like this and then going backwards to the submandibular with both hands at the same time and start crawling around the mid midway of the jaw against the jaw itself feeling if any uh, lymph nodes are felt and then the tonsillar lymph nodes at about the angle of the jaw right here then the preauricular just in front of the ears right here by rolling your fingers and then the postauricular and the postauricular, you can use your thumbs to feel them like this while supporting the, the face. And then the occipital, also with your thumbs, at the occiput, you start trolling, feeling for any lymph nodes. Okay, thank you. So in this section, 
uh, I'm going to show you how to examine the longitudinal group of cervical lymph nodes. But first, as usual, we have to greet the patient, introduce yourself, and explain what are you going to do or perform on the patient. Sabah al khair. Sabah al nur. Ezaiyak. Tamam, hamdulillah. Ana ismi Dr. Fadi. Ahlan Esmak eh? Sayyid Muhammad. Ahlan ya Sayyid. Lo ma adakhsh mana aouz afhas raqabtak nadour ala hodad lymphawiya. Fish mushkila. Tamam, shukran. Shukran. So first few things before starting to examine the longitudinal group of cervical lymph nodes, you have to determine where is the sternocleidomastoid muscle because it's the main landmark of the neck and around which we're going to examine the lymph nodes. So it is extending as we see here, the fishway rosok, from the mastoid process extending downwards in the neck down to the clavicle and the sternum. So just anterior to the sternocleidomastoid, deep to it, and superficial to the muscle, this is called the anterior group of cervical lymph nodes, and just posterior to the sternocleidomastoid muscle, and exactly in the posterior triangle of the neck, lie the posterior group of cervical lymph nodes. So, starting with the anterior group, it consists, as we mentioned, of superficial and deep. So, to examine the superficial, first try to Flex the patient head slightly towards the side examined. My rosak shwaya, shukran. And start feeling by rolling your fingertips along the sternocleidomastoid muscle, like this, from the upmost position downwards, and then by uh, gripping the sternocleidomastoid like this, and start to feel by rolling your fingertips, also going downwards like this, feeling for any enlarged lymph nodes, right? And finally, the posterior group is in the posterior triangle, which is between the sternocleidomastoid muscle and the trapezius muscle. And it lies exactly here, and you can feel it by also gripping the sternocleidomastoid muscle and feeling with your thumb like this, also rolling and searching for any enlarged lymph nodes from upwards going downwards. And also, please, don't forget to examine the other side of the neck. Thank you. So at the end of any lymph node examination, if you found any enlarged lymph nodes, don't forget to comment on the following items. The number of the enlarged lymph nodes, their site, and their size approximately in the largest dimension, and if they're matted together or if they're discrete, so the relation of the lymph nodes to each other, also the relation of the lymph nodes to the surrounding structures if they are freely mobile or if they are fixed. Also the consistency of the lymph nodes, whether they are hard or firm or soft. Also the tenderness of the lymph nodes, if they are tender or not. Also don't forget to examine the overlying skin overlying the, to the lymph nodes, if there are any, if there are any ulcerations or any abnormality in the skin. Also, don't forget to examine the drainage areas specific to this lymph node group. So, my dear students, this is the end of our video. I hope it was helpful to you, and I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Yeah.